Welcome to another WordPress tutorial from Tech Girl. I'm Brandi Lawson. I'm going to be showing you the new features of WordPress 4.1. Here you can see we're in the post view. For the pages and posts, there's a new improved distraction free writing mode. So if you click this little guy here, all of your sidebars go away and you can focus just on your content. But if you're ready to add your categories or do something else, if you just move your mouse back, they'll reappear. You can also re-click the same button to bring all the sidebars back. The next update that is in the editor here is for images. So if you've got an image, you can click on it and do the alignment right there from the editor without having to open up the editing for the specific image to do the alignment. So that's another great improvement. Now we're going to pop over to the plugins. When you go to add new plugins, there's always been the featured and the popular, but now WordPress has implemented a recommended. So this algorithm is based on what you're currently using, other plugins that you've installed, and gives you recommendations based on plugins that are frequently used together. So that's a handy one to help you discover some new plugins. Over in the user area, if you go to your user and your profile, You'll now notice if you happen to be logged in in multiple places, down at the bottom, there's a button that says log out of all other sessions. So if you left yourself logged in somewhere or lost your phone and somebody else logged in as you, you can come here and click this button. It will log you out of all the other sessions that you're logged in. Of course, with the new release of WordPress means that there is a new theme that's come with it. It is the 2015 theme. We'll look at it here, but then we'll also pop over and look at it on the main. And here we see what it looks like. It's got a sidebar navigation, and here's what the main page. Very clean theme focused on blogs, of course. Back here. The other improvement um, for those who are not English speakers by nature, um, over on the general tab at the bottom, you can change your site language and install the language packs right from here. You don't have to worry about installing the language packs before you change your language. You can change it and have the language pack installed. The final improvement, which honestly I couldn't get to work yet, is when you do have a post and you want to embed things, Previously, um, you've been able to embed YouTube videos and Vimeo videos and Facebook posts and Twitter posts by just pasting in the URL. Well, now you're supposed to be able to paste in the URL of a Vine and have it embed. Looks like they may still be working out some bugs on that one. So that is what's new in WordPress 4.1. I'm personally looking forward to using the distraction-free writing mode and having that easy access to the image alignment. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.